Good evening, everyone. Today is still Monday, March the 4th, 2024. And I am back with another episode. Let me sure I got the date right. Yeah, that's right. March 4th, 2024. Monday. Evening. Time to get off. Head to the gym. But before then, let me make this video because I think it would be dark by the time I make it home. Thank y'all for tuning in. Support. Thank you for all your comments, like, sharing, subscribing. Thank y'all for all of that. I really appreciate it. As the channel grows, I hope to get better at what I do. But I appreciate y'all for staying around for where I am right now. Thank you. So, I was scrolling, looking looking at something that made me remember something that happened to me. But I ain't going to tell y'all what I was looking at. But I'm just going to tell you what happened to me. And uh, something that I learned about women. I was, uh, when I was, I was... When I started back dating after my marriage, right, I took a I took a break from dating. I wanted to heal, you know, get my mind right. Don't take that baggage to another woman, that bitterness and whatever. You're not supposed to just go from one relationship to another. You're supposed to take time in between to heal. <clears throat> so that's what I did, right? And then when I started back dating, I met this woman, and uh. We were talking, and it, we, we dated for about two weeks before this question popped up, right? She asked me, did I have a cut buddy? Any of y'all know what a cut buddy is? That's like a friend with benefits. Y'all not in a relationship. Y'all just knocking boots and going on your separate way. No, no commitment, no nothing. So she asked me that I have a cut buddy. So I'm like, I ain't the one to lie to you. You know, we just, you know, we ain't been, we've we been talking about two weeks. I want to lie for her. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man, whatever. So I ain't got to lie to you. I said, yeah. So I said, well, what, I asked her. I said, well, do you have one? She said, yeah. I was like, wow. She, she actually told the truth. She learns about it, right? No big deal. No problem. No, you know, it's cool. I got one, she got one. So we're dating or whatever. So one particular night we were chilling. I tried to hug her, right? Try to get a little little intimate. She pushed me away. No, no, it's too soon for that. It's too soon for that. A hug, right? She said it was too soon for a hug. I was trying to take my time because normally I go and move in for the kill like soon. I don't, I don't, you know, but by me coming out of my marriage and, you know, got healed, I want to try to do things a little differently. And uh, I want to take things slowly and uh, find somebody that was kind of decent. Well, not kind of decent, but decent. So, I, you know, so I played along, didn't push up on the stuff too soon, you know what I mean? You gotta be careful. So y'all gotta read between the lines what I'm talking about. I wasn't in no hurry to get the, you know, the goodies, right? Even though in the past, you know, I, I get it. But I was trying to do something different because that normally didn't didn't work out well for me when I did get it like that. So I, let me do a little, do something a little different. So take my time or whatever. See if I can find a woman that, uh, that ain't, you know, kind of, you know, a little, little more morals or whatever. Come to find I ain't none, but... That's, I mean, we're going to get down there pretty soon. Hold on, y'all. Before I forget, women are just like us, fellas. They want it too. If you, I'm, we're going to get there. Let me, let, me, let me slow down. Slow down, Big Ward. I'm so in hurry to tell y'all this story. Slow down, Big Ward. Okay. Yes, sir. So, I tried to give her a hug, right? She was like, no, it's too soon for that. You know what I'm saying? She just like really playing the good girl. And, you know, want to move it, you know, take it slow and move slowly or whatever and all this and that. So, me being the brutally honest type of guy that I am, 
I'm like, why you want to take it so slow with me? But you got a cut buddy. Not judging you because I got one too. Why you want to take it so slow with me when you already got a dude who just coming through tablet? You know what I mean? But now you want to take it slow with me. She going to tell me, I don't see him as relationship material. I don't see him as somebody I want to be with long term. He's just somebody to play with. Me and him already have the understanding that if I get in a relationship, I'm going to cut him off. I see you talking about me. I see you as relationship long term material. I see you, you have value. You're worth something. You're a solid dude. You know, compliment me like that going to make me feel some different about what just happened here. So give me all the praises and compliment how great of a guy I am and blah, 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 blah. And I'm the type of dude that a woman want to be with. I'm the kind of guy that a woman want to be with. And I'm thinking to myself, well, damn, I, I want to cut too. I'd rather just be the cut buddy and you go be with him. If it's going to be like that, I'm the type of guy. I bullshit you not. This is what your woman told me. Hold on, y'all. I'm back. I kid you not. That woman told me. The other dude that she letting just hit, he ain't relationship material. He ain't long-term material. He ain't, he ain't somebody you want to be with. Make plans with, have a future with. He ain't that type of dude. He's just somebody to play with. But me, on the other hand, start giving me all these kind of praises about how I'm, I'm the type of dude the woman want to settle down with and be with long-term, have a future with, build with. I wasn't flattered at all. I wasn't impressed. I wasn't happy about that. So I politely, in a rude way, told her, I'll holler at you. And she said, what you mean? What you, what you mean you holler at me? I say, I'm finna bounce. I'll holler at you. I politely, in a rude way, got up and dipped. She called me a few days after that. I ain't answered the phone. Straight to voicemail. Call me again. Straight to voicemail. I ain't got nothing else to say to you. Go text me. Oh, you just gonna send me straight to voicemail? You can't answer the phone? what I do wrong? She really, she asking me, what did she do wrong? She couldn't figure out that telling me you got a cut buddy, he ain't relationship material, but he can still get it. But I got to be in a relationship with you. And I'm going to settle down with you in order to get what he getting for nothing. He getting the milk for free, but I got to buy the cow. I don't want that cow, baby. You, you just showed me a whole nother level. I thought I knew some things. I thought I had seen it all. Thought I had heard it all. Come to find out, no matter how long you live, you always got something to learn. Go always be something new. You don't know it all. I know a lot. I'm a genius. But I still got a lot to learn. Listen to me, y'all. Fellas and women, because y'all know a lot of y'all probably doing the same thing or think the same way. Y'all got guys that you'll just let smash. And then you got guys that you'll make wait because you don't want him to think you not uh, relationship material. Because you want to settle down with him. So you got to play the role with him like you a good girl. Which you still can be a good girl even if you let him, if you like him. Because I'll be like, I, I'm like this. I'm grown. I don't play them little kiddie games. If you like me, you want to be with me like that, don't make, don't get to me. 
Because I'm already knowing I don't believe in that good girl stuff. I believe in a woman will do what she needs to do to get what she wants. That's what I believe. Good girl, bad, I don't believe in none of that. Ain't no good girl, ain't no bad girl, ain't no good man, ain't no bad man. People will do what they need to do to get what they want. If somebody being good to you, man or woman, if you're a man and your woman being good to you, or if you're a woman and your man being good to you, it's only because you still are what they want. If they don't want you no more, they're going to stop being good to you. They're only as good to you as much as they still want you. No good man or bad man. The same good woman or that same good man, if they decide they don't want you no more, they're going to start acting funny with you and you're going to think they ain't no good. But when all actuality, they just don't want you no more. They were good to you when they wanted you. Now they don't want you, they ain't good to you no more. You think they're a low-down, dirty dog, but when all in reality, they just don't want you no more. It happens. So, there are women out here that's dating somebody that they think is a good guy, somebody they want to settle down with and have a relationship with, and they're making him wait for the cookie. All while he waiting, got a Pookie or Tyrone over there that ain't relationship material, that ain't somebody she want to settle down with, but she need that wood right now. And he provide the wood. But he ain't nothing she want to be with, no relationship to my marriage and nothing like that, because he a bomb. He just got the wood. So she'll go on do him while she playing you along the relationship thing. You know what I mean? Like y'all dating with a purpose. She, you know, women talking about they dating with a purpose. They are. They dating with a purpose trying to find that man to settle down with other hub and material, whatever. If they think that's what you are, you ain't getting on till later on down the road. The not at a rule and all that type stuff. All while, Pookie over here knocking it down. And when y'all commit, she might let Pookie go. She might not. Depending on how well Pookie laid it down. She might still kick it with Pookie while she's in a full-fledged relationship or marriage with you. When I was younger, this chick I was kicking it with, we were just cut buddies in my 20s, early 20s, right? We would kick it. She'll get in a relationship. We'll still be kicking it. She get our relationship. We'll be kicking it. She get in another relationship. Still kicking it with me for years. Got married. Still were kicking it with me. We ain't kicking as much when she was in a relationship or married as we did when she, you know, when she be single. When she single, we kick it more. She go get in a relationship. We'll she'll back off a little bit, but we still kick it. If you know what I mean. Boy, I learned a lot about women. They ain't all bad, though. But I learned a lot about women. The way that's why I ain't scared to deal with them now. I have no fear. I ain't worried about dealing with them because I know them. They don't scare me. I know what to look for. What to accept, what not to accept. I'm good. And this time, day and age, if you out here dating, fellas, at least know what's going on so you won't be caught off guard, end up being red pill or passport, bro. Get your passport, bro. So you ain't got to do all that. Don't be out here dating right now in this day and time if you consider yourself green. Go learn the game first before you come out here calling yourself dating nowadays. That go for man and woman. When I'm talking to the fellas right now, I'm trying to, I'm just telling our story what happened to me. They will make the good guy wait while banging Pook and Ray Ray. They already know Pook and Ray Ray is somebody they don't want to be with. They wouldn't dare be in a relationship with him. But they'll deal with him while they dating you. While they dating you with a purpose. As they like to say, I'm dating with a purpose. You thinking you done found you one. Finally found that good one. She dating with a purpose. She ain't with all that foolishness. I'm the only man she's seeing. You're the only man she's seeing seriously. You're the only man she's seeing and vetting for a relationship. But you ain't the only man she's seeing. She got the cut butter coming by every now and then, tighten up. 
and you'll never know it. Sorry, ladies, for telling y'all a secret. But I'm here for both sides. I'm here to school the men. I'm here to school the women. I love everybody. So, that's what you're dealing with, fella. It happened to me. Big Ward, if it could happen to me, it could happen to anybody. Somebody will comment about how I'm 6'5 and 270 pounds that I have it easy with women. Boy, they do me the same way they do a five foot two fat boy. When I tell y'all a woman don't do with, with rods, get cheated on too. I told y'all that story. A woman ain't got no loyalty to them, no man. She, her loyalty is to herself by nature. She has no loyalty to a man. You can have the biggest wood, the biggest bank account, all that. Female nature is going to always make sure she's straight. But it's, it's okay, though. Once you understand and know that, you'll know how to move accordingly. And you won't be around here when she don't want you no more. You got to go to counseling and all that type of stuff. Or you want you want to jump off a building, some stupid. You ain't. Once you learn how they are, you're able to do That's why I don't, I don't hate them. I still love them because I understand now. Like, okay, this is what it is. Now I know how to move. And we good. Stop putting them up here. And you're going to be all right. She's dating with a purpose. Which really means she see you as relationship material. She see you as husband material. Long-term boyfriend material. That's what dating with a purpose means. So you got to wait for the cookie. But just know they love to do it, if not more, just as much as us. So if you ain't getting it, somebody is. Get it. Got it. Good. Bye.